We're explaining how to import OBJ files with their associated MTL, Material Template Library, files into 3 Desai seconds max. This process allows you to bring in 3D models with their textures and materials intact. 1. First, locate your OBJ and MTL files. These files usually come as a pair. The OBJ file contains the 3D model's geometry, while the MTL file describes the materials and textures applied to that geometry. Make sure they're in the same folder to avoid any import issues. 2. Open 3 to size seconds max and navigate to the import menu. You can usually find this under the file menu. 3. In the import dialog box, locate and select your OBJ file. Crucially, do not select the MTL file directly at this stage. 3 deci seconds max will automatically look for and associate the MTL file if it's in the same folder as the OBJ. The name of the MTL file is usually referenced within the OBJ file itself. 4. Once you've selected the OBJ, click Import. 3 deci seconds max will now import the model and attempt to apply the materials defined in the MTL file. 5. After the import, check the Material Editor usually accessed through the Material Editor button. You should see the materials defined in the MTL file. If the materials are not showing correctly, double-check that the MTL file is in the same directory and that it is correctly named within the OBJ file. 6. If you encounter issues, it's a good idea to verify that the paths referenced within the MTL file are correct, especially if your textures are not in the same folder as the OBJ and MTL files. You might need to manually adjust those paths within the material editor if necessary. 7. In the rare case that 3 to size seconds max doesn't automatically find the MTL file, you can sometimes manually assign the MTL file after importing the OBJ. This usually involves selecting the imported object and then browsing to the MTL file via the material editor. 8. Remember to always keep your OBJ and MTL files organized in the same folder. Doing so will prevent many common import issues. Always check your material editor to ensure your textures and materials are applied correctly to the model after importing your OBJ file. Using the proper file naming conventions can also prevent complications and ensure proper associations. Remember, a well-named MTL file is often key to a successful import.